as Intel Engine supports collaborative development. Thanks to it, you can edit projects by many developers at the same time, and other developers will see all of the changes instantly. I'll present this by running two instances of the editor. You can see that only one of them has a project listed and the other one has no projects at all. In order to enable collaborative development, we need to start a central server. A central server is an application located in the central engine folder. This server application will handle all of the communication between different instances of the editors. First, we need to connect the editors to the server. Let's copy its address. We need to log in with our email and password. This user was not yet registered. We need to enable user registration on the server. Now this should work. Now we can register. A new user has been added to the server database. When trying to connect the server, we can't because we don't have any access. In order to set up the access, we need to change this to the normal setting. And there we go. Now let's connect on the other instance. And don't forget about setting the access. Now that we are connected to the server, every time that we open a project, it will get automatically synchronized with the server. So when we open this project, you can notice that server has increased network usage. This means that all of these elements are sent to the server. And now, on this instance of the editor, you can see that this project become available. And now the server is sending us the data. So everything that's over here got transferred to the server and from the server to this instance of the editor. We have the same trees, same character object, and the same world. And now I'll demonstrate making real-time changes to the project which you will notice that get transferred instantly to the second instance of the editor. For example, let's start with the basics. Let's make some changes in the project elements. Make a new folder. We have created it over here, but you can notice that it already appeared on the other side. Now we can transfer the world object into the world folder and it's there. Now let's make some modifications to an object. Let's adjust the color of the material. Make it more red. Close it. And after saving the changes, they got transferred to the other side. Now let's see how this works with real-time editing of words.
Let's start by adding some terrain. Now let's remove some terrain. Perform some changes on the terrain. Make some noise. Now let's make it more flat. Let's move some objects around. Let's completely delete them. Let's paint some path on the terrain. And let's place some new objects. 